All right, everyone, welcome back. So today what I want to do is look at React Chatbot Kit and kind of make a few short videos that explain some of the concepts behind it and look into how you can customize your bot. So if we scroll to the bottom of the documentation, there are a few examples here of bots that I kind of made as uh, inspiration and you can view the source code here as well. But uh, if you look at the bottom one, you can see that it has uh, an avatar of its own and it has a different color. So uh, that's some of the things we're going to be exploring in this series and also how we can do data fetching and uh, more complicated components as well. So I've cheated a little bit. I've set up a Create React App project and uh, I have it open in one of my tabs here. And uh, basically it's a blank create React app project and I removed everything in app.js except the uh, div with the class name of app and the header. So if we head over to um, our development server, I have mine on localhost 3001, then uh, we will see that we have a blank hello world page. So what I want to do first is I wanted to take a look at setting up the chatbot. So I've done yarn add react chatbot kit and install that just so you don't have to watch it. But if you want to follow along, you want to do that as well and wait for that to install. Now, I already have it, so I don't need to do it. Uh, so I can go up to app.js and import chatbot from React Chatbot Kit. And we are going to put that here and hit save. And let's see what happens to our dev server now. All right, so we get the default view that tells us that something is missing. So I'm going to go quickly through this now and set up the chatbot because uh, we need a couple of parts to make it work. Uh, but handily, we get a, um, a link here that will take us to the docs. So if we click that, we get a link to the docs. And if we scroll a little bit down, we can open this quick start here. So. Um, under the header quick start, you can hit go, go to gist. All right. So now we're going to do uh, three things. We're going to grab these three different parts and we are going to make files for each one. So I'm going to grab the config and I'm going to in source create a new file called config.js paste that in. I'm going to grab the action provider. I'm going to create a new file called action provider.js. Paste that in. And finally, we'll grab the message parser. And we will create a message parser. Js. And then we'll go to app and we'll import message parser, action provider, and the config. And I know this seems like it's going fast. Uh, and I'm doing that a little bit on purpose here because I want to go into more detail later, but I want to kind of keep this sort of short and sweet. So uh, we're going to pass these three things to the chatbot. So we're going to pass it the config. We're going to pass it a message parser. 
and we're going to pass it the action provider. All right. So let's take a look at our web page again. Message parser is not defined, and action provider is not defined. Perfect. And here's the error. So I need to use the uppercase here because I imported them as uppercase. That makes sense. And now if we go back, we have our the beginnings of our bot. All right, so I'm gonna leave it there now. And in the next video, we'll take a look at each of those three parts that we just implemented. And uh, we'll see how they work and uh, get to know them a little bit better.